Federation HVAC exam practice question set 11. Share knowledge, help people. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Number one. A crankcase pressure regulating valve or CPR valve prevents the compressor from being overloaded during a hot pull down. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. Number two. The CPR valve is located where? A discharge line close to the compressor, B suction line at evaporator inlet, C suction line close to the compressor, D suction line at evaporator outlet. Correct answer is C suction line close to the compressor. Number 3. Without a CPR valve, a hot pull down can cause the compressor motor overcurrent or overload protection device to trip. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. The CPR valve throttles the flow of refrigerant gas that enters the compressor to prevent the compressor motor from drawing excessive current beyond its rated capacity. CPR valve adjustment on high load is to close is to close in order to prevent compressor overloading. Number four. Which of the following conditions would cause a hot pull down? A. Amount of food products has significantly increased. High load. B. Temperature of food products are high. Hot loads. C. Refrigerated box starting up with warm temperature. B. After long periods of box door left open. E. After long defrost cycle. Or F. All of the above. Correct answer is F, all of the above. Number 5. During a hot pull down, the suction temperature and pressure increases and the density of the refrigerant gas in the suction line blank. A. Decreases. B. Increases. Correct answer is B. Increases. Number 6. A refrigerant vapor having very high density can overload the compressor motor and cause it to short cycle. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Number 7. The CPR valve blank on rise of outlet pressure. A opens, B closes. Correct answer is B closes. CPR valves are CRO valves. CRO means close on rise of outlet pressure. CRO valves closes on rise of outlet pressure and the outlet pressure of the CPR valve is the crankcase pressure. Number 8. In a CPR valve, the spring pressure is the blank force. A. Closing. B. Opening. Correct answer is B. Opening. The CPR valve is controlled by two forces, 
the crankcase or outlet pressure and the spring pressure. The crankcase pressure is the closing force and the spring pressure is the opening force. Number 9. The spring pressure can be adjusted with a screwdriver or allen wrench to set the blank crankcase pressure set point. A maximum, B minimum. Correct answer is A maximum. Number 10. It is considered best practice to adjust the CPR valve setting during a hot pull down. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. Number 11. The CPR valve is adjusted during a hot pull down by the corresponding blank in the compressor motor nameplate. A. Lock rotor amperage, LRA. B. Rated load amps or running load amps, RLA. C. Full load amps, FLA. Or D. Service factor amps, SFA. Correct answer is C. Full load amps. How to adjust CPR valve? Perform the following steps during a hot pull down. Using a multimeter or an ammeter, turn the set screw clockwise or counterclockwise using a screwdriver or, or wrench to adjust or throttle the CPR valve until the current reading in the multimeter or ammeter matches the nameplate FLA or full load amperage of the compressor motor. Number 12. The evaporator pressure is equal to the compressor suction pressure when the CPR valve is blank. A fully open, B 50% open, C fully closed. Correct answer is A fully open. Number 13. To reverse the rotation of PSC motor, switch capacitor location from auxiliary to main windings. A true, B false. Correct answer is A true. Number 14. Last question. The location of temperature sensor for plate and frame type pre-cooling heat exchanger is A. Evaporator inlet B. Compressor suction C. Condenser inlet D. Condenser outlet Correct answer is C. Condenser inlet Alrighty, this is it for this uh, video. Cheers, have a good one. Till the next video.